What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel once again. Today, we're gonna be continuing on our junkyard festival project that everyone seemed to like a lot. So, right over here, we have the 1989 Festiva LX that we saved and got running from the junkyard uh, in not this last video, but the one before that. Uh, obviously, it's in a little rough shape, you know, on the inside and it's pretty dirty out here. But we got it running and driving for the first time in what I'm gonna say almost a decade. So a lot of people really, really liked this car. A lot of people had stories with it saying they had one or used to know somebody that had one. And uh, a lot of people, I mean, really, really liked the car. And so one of the most common things I saw was that I needed to clean it up and make it roadworthy. And so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Today, we're going to pressure wash it and clean the inside of it out or try to, we're, we're starting to run out of daylight already. The inside is in shambles, absolute shambles. But I think I'm gonna pull the seats out, really try to get everything cleaned out. First, I'll probably pressure wash the outside. All I plan to do today is just the pressure wash, maybe vacuum it out, just try to get it cleaned up. And then the next video you see on it, we'll work on the mechanicals, we'll work on brakes, Whenever I bought my other 93, it come with brand new brakes. They're a little roughed up now. They come with all brand new brakes. So we kind of lucked out on that. And I actually have these little 12 inch wheels. Whenever I bought my first Festiva, I actually got, it come on a set of 12 inch wheels that's got decent tires on them. So, oh gosh, okay, okay. Uh, but. So I think I have the brake stuff that I need. I think I have some good tires and wheels. And so I also, in my other Festiva, have a brand new gas tank, brand new sending unit. So how whatever shape this gas tank's in, it's not a big deal if it's not in good shape. I could just swap it out in the future and that be taken care of. But for now, I didn't bring any fuel lines. So I just got to put a little fuel down the, down the carburetor bowl there and we'll get it fired up moved out and we'll start seeing how this thing will come around it's it's in pretty rough shape so let's get started okay first things first i need to get this guy running again i didn't bring any uh fuel line unfortunately so just gonna fill the carburetor up. Okay. Maybe. Uh, round, round. Okay. Let's see if it'll fire up and move under its own power out there. I did in the meantime grab a key. There's something wedged in there though. So, all right. I flooded it, I know. Would you look at it? Just purring. And the reason it's so loud is this is like an EGR. Listen at it. It's just 
just a happy little engine. I did realize that the uh, cooling fan wires aren't on. I probably ran it too long the first time around, but it didn't overheat. Just a happy little thing. That's gonna be a driver. Look at that, no smoke. Just a little, you know, it's kind of chilly out. A little moisture. What a unit. What a unit. It deserves to be brought back. All right. Let's get her cut off. Okay, it beat me to it. All right. I had to go buy a new pressure washing hose today. Oh, we have fuel in there. I'm gonna put a little more in it though. Elbag, it's been doing pretty good. I, I haven't driven it here in uh, probably two or three weeks just because it needs an alignment. It keeps coming out of alignment for some reason. Oh, D200. I should have made a video on reviving this guy. Had a bunch of engines back there. A fella just come and bought them and it was kind of hanging out over here. And well, I had to take it to the shop so we can get all the engines out of the back of the truck with the cherry picker and all but this one. This one stays. But uh, anyway, this thing hadn't been run in probably four months. And all it took was a hot battery and pumping the gas a whole bunch. And then it fired right up. See, I bet it'd run right now. Let's see. Let's give it a... I know this isn't necessarily on topic for the video, but this is my 1969 Dodge D200 Custom. All original from what I could tell. Now somebody's painted it. That's the original color. That's the color that's been painted. This has been done, but it's overall a fairly solid truck. You got your typical swept line rust in the rockers, or I'm sorry, yeah, in the rockers and the, uh, right here at the step in the door got your typical rust there rust in the floor but overall it's not too bad it's fairly solid i bought this truck drove it two hours home it is all original 318 the only thing that i have done to it is i put that voltage regulator on it other than that 318 two barrel i mean can't beat it well i will say first time it moved in that long it didn't have any brakes uh i still don't think it has front right brakes at all but it's got front left and rear i think so we're gonna get this thing oh i need to cut this off whoopsie All right, well, let's get this thing started. I don't know how much time we're gonna have. I'll do the first little bit with the GoPro. So watch. Uh, yeah, it's, it's got oil in it, it's fine. So I don't need to pressure wash the stripe. Hey, that's coming around though.
you have it, pressure wash the best I can. Um, the old sticker, the old stickers here will come right off with uh, the high pressure water. Don't, and I think the paint will even, but the old stickers here will come right off. So I'd, I'd rather just touch that up with the hand because you can see where I took a bunch of that sticker off before I realized. Uh, the other side, however, come around pretty good. It looks looks pretty good over here. Uh, there is this stuff here as well that probably won't come off without a little elbow grease. Uh, overall though, it cleaned up pretty good. Uh, still needs to be hand washed, obviously. Probably is gonna need to be buffed if we ever make it that far. But I'm pretty happy with it. Next up, we're gonna try to go ahead and get everything vacuumed out, cleaned out and vacuumed out. See if we can spiffen her up a little on the inside. It is pretty raunchy in here. It doesn't smell bad, you'd think it would, but there is sure enough a ton of trash in here and we gotta get that out of here. So I think I'm gonna pull the seats out of it, at least the front seats to make this whole process easier. And hopefully Cheyenne will be out here in a minute to help me vacuum this thing out. You can go ahead and get trash out. I will also get trash out, but you better not. Ew, what is this? I'm going to take the seats out. I'm sorry. Can I get some gloves? Ah, uh, hey, I may have a glove. Now I don't know the condition of these gloves. They're kind of wet. I think I just picked up an adult diaper. Yeah, I think there is an adult diaper in there. Yeah. Yeah. I I just picked it up. These gloves are wet. They're gonna feel weird, but there are gloves. Are they wet on the inside? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Put your hand in it. It's wet. <laughs> Ooh, oh, 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 I don't like this. <laughs> Not gonna work? I don't like, they're too big for my... Well, I'll get the, I'm pretty sure, I, all right, I'm 100% sure it's an adult diaper. <laughs> but I think it's not used, right? I don't know. Fairly certain it's not used. No, it's clean. It's a clean adult <laughs> diaper. Okay, so you just keep on going. I gotta get some tools. Some of this stuff is wet. Oh, I did. Just pressure wash. So. Not Push good. forward on seat. Oh, I forgot. It smells bad in there. Yeah. I forgot. I didn't think it smelled bad. It's always smelled bad. My fault. Seat removal in a Festiva. You got a screw. And then you got another screw. You got another screw over here. Okay. And then got another screw. I lost it. Okay, and you gotta take this little guy off right there. Right there, to get that out. And now you can get to those top bolts.
There goes one. Hey, look, I see, I see a quarter. There's a bunch of quarters in there. Okay. Seat out. There's an insurance card in the visor. See if the name matches. Talmage. Talmage. Talmage McDuffie? Yeah. So maybe it's her son? Her husband? Don't know. Gosh, it does not smell good in here. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and take the back seat out. This way. Actually. a bunch of adult diapers okay i think we discovered a bunch of adult diapers i hope they're not used Ugh. it's too big for my hand oh. oh man you're doing a great job I think I found the key. Oh no! Oh, not the... They suck you Not the calming sea of tranquility, gentle persuasion for relaxation. Oh, I gotta learn how to wind that guy back up. Aha! My prize possession in this car. Hey, but that's looking better over there. Unfortunately, I've run out of time for today. I have some prior plans that I kind of, I didn't forget about, but they snuck up on me. So we've got one section vacuumed out. Still got to get the other and the back. I think I'm going to vacuum it out and then go ahead and just pull the whole carpet. Probably get it cleaned up. Who's your puppy dog? Hey, pup. Hey, girly. Hey, girly. But anyway, we're going to get this thing cleaned up the rest of the way at a little later date. Once we get it vacuumed out, we'll pull the pull all the panels out of it, pull the carpet out of it, just try to go through, clean it up as good as we can while the carpet's out. That's probably when I'll work on dropping the gas tank because you got to have this panel out to get the whole filler neck ordeal. Probably also going to try to get the hatch open. But I got to say, it come around pretty good. Pretty happy with the pressure washing. Like I said, still needs to be hand washed. I just didn't want to blow that sticker off any more than it already is. Well, next time around, we'll probably work on the fuel system, get it running from its own tank rather than a uh, water, rather than a gas bottle. We'll work on the brakes, tires, and I mean, it'll be just steps closer, you know, to getting getting a little road ready rig anyway thank you very much for watching i appreciate all the support on this little 
junkyard festiva build so far hopefully you'll follow along the rest of the way let me know what i ought to do with it should i just clean it up and, and get it driving keep it drive it sell it what do you think i appreciate you for watching leave a like we'll talk to you next time